I had the privilege of working here at Roosevelt uh, for about 15 years and to experience this really special and close school community where my family lived before I was born. Today we've heard from Claudia's teachers, her current professors at Cal State LA, a Mecha student. What a great tribute this is to a very exceptional woman, an exceptional leader, an exceptional person that Claudia is. Now, I don't know Claudia personally, but I stand with her today along with 33,000 UTLA members, early educators, K through 12 teachers, adult educators, counselors, nurses, and health and human service professionals. I'm also here on behalf of all of the UTLA officers, and in particular, Daniel Barnhart. I'm here with him over there. UTLA demands justice for Claudia. Border Patrol out of LA. Stop immigrant deportation and detention and raid. It is inhumane, unjust, and discriminatory to pick up and detain this 22-year-old DACA excellent student who's been fighting against the very oppression that she was picked up for. UTLA supports educational justice, social and economic justice, racial and immigrant justice. This is all integral to the schools our students in LA deserve. And as educators, we embrace resistance to deportations and detentions as a moral imperative. For we connect with our students personally. You heard that from the teachers here. We want the best for every single student. And many times we may be the first and the only person that they confide in with their deepest fears, their struggles, and their status. UTLA also supports well-funded community schools with a well-rounded curriculum, wraparound services, for health and youth uh, counselors and, and nurses, arts, music, and ethnic studies, bilingual programs, parent and community engagement, because every single child should be valued and supported. We join with the Immigrant Youth Coalition and the loan in demanding that the ICE San Diego Field Director, Director Gregory Archambault approve the prosecutorial discretion package that was submitted, submitted by Claudia Rueda's attorney. And we stand in solidarity with Claudia's bond hearing on June 9th. And we demand that we, the collaboration between law enforcement, border patrol, sheriff's department, and immigration stop, and that the raids stop, because education is not possible with terrorizing raids. The fight to free Claudia reminds me of my own family story 75 years ago when my mother, my aunt, my uncles, my grandparents, they were forced to board a bus and to leave their beloved Boyle Heights neighborhood because they were Japanese Americans. They didn't know where they were going, but they learned later that they were taken to the desert, Manzanar, with 10,000 other Japanese American citizens and non-citizens alike. There was no organized resistance. There were only individuals, American Friends Service Center, CTA. There was no organized resistance. But never again. Never again. Today we resist. Today we stand with Claudia. And we demand that the immigration, the detentions, the deportation ends. 